this is Dr. S. Chinnamantikeshwarlu, working as a professor of EEC at IRA Hyderabad. Today we will be discussing about uh, FIR filter design aspects with examples. Here with the uh, definition, we know that uh, definition, a uh, finite impulse response FIR filter is uh, specified by mathematically where y of n is equal to the summation i is equal to 0 to k b i into x of n minus i. So, here the transfer function of the finite impulse response filter okay that is followed by h of z is equal to b naught plus b1 into z power minus 1 plus uh, b2 z power minus 2 and so on plus b k z power minus k where here in this case where b i is uh, what do you call the filter coefficients where k plus 1 filters like that okay here mm -hmm. the difference equation where uh, y of n is equal to b naught x of n plus b1 x of n minus 1 plus b2 x of uh, n minus 2 plus uh, b3 x of n minus 3 and so on plus b k into x of n minus k. So, here uh, next coming to this the realization of the FIR filter. So, we are we right to use this, this of the realization x of n to uh, with, uh, with reference to b naught and b1 b b2 up to bk with uh, it is uh, represented uh, what do you call x of uh, x of x of uh, n minus 1 and x of n minus 2 and so on x of x of uh, n minus k so we will expect that allowed the response by of n. this is the related what you call the realization of the finite impulse response response filter okay with this uh, we will ready to expect that all inverse what are the inverse uh, Fourier transform for this uh, for this case frequency response of the uh, ideal low pass filter when once we are ready to use the Fourier transform design methodologies this is the major aspect okay under this frequency response of ideal low pass filter with uh, this mathematical notation where h and t power j omega is equal to one yeah, if it is uh, yeah, if, if if it is one, okay, directly we write to say that uh, zero less than or equal to what do you call mod uh, sigma, what do you call less than or equal to uh, omega omega c. Okay, so here if it is h and e power e power j omega j omega is zero, where uh, omega c less than or equal to uh, what do you call less than or equal to mod of omega less than or equal to what do you call that pi okay like this so right to represent this uh, frequency response ideal low cost filter with reference to this uh, mathematical expression uh, uh, here it is impulse response of the ideal low pass uh, filter uh, for this, uh, the desired the desired impulse response is followed by that h of n, where h of n, okay, of ideal low pass filter is infinite and uh, symmetrical about where n is that uh, where if it is n is equal to zero, okay. After truncating two plus two uh, m plus one uh, major components using the coefficient uh, symmetry, where it is followed by what you call h of z where h of z is equal to h of h of m z power uh, m plus and so and so on h of h of 1 uh, z power minus plus 1 plus h of 0 plus h of 1 z power minus 1 plus and so on plus h of m z power minus m okay like this uh, this are all can by using this all is symmetric to obtain the casual finite impulse response filter where uh, h of n is delayed by m samples with this <coughs> h of z is equal to b naught plus b1 z power minus 1 plus and so on plus b2 m z power minus what do you call uh, 2m okay so with this where uh, uh, where uh, h of n where uh, b of n is equal to h of n here uh, with this b of n is equal to where we are ready to represent that where b of n where b of n where b of n is equal to okay 
or you can consider that all where Bn, Bn is equal to H of H of N minus capital M, okay, for for uh, small n is ready to substitute the uh, 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on, okay, 2m, okay. So, with this, uh, try to calculate the tall bn value, okay. So, for this, here we are going to consider that one, uh, that representation of this uh, uh, emphasis where h of n value. Okay, so with this impulse, uh, ideal impulse for standard finite impulse response filters. Here we know that all filter where uh, uh, type ideal impulse response H of N, non causal or non casual finite impulse response portions. We want to, if you are using that all low pass, uh, if you are using a low pass filter and high pass, band pass, and band stop, and so on. But if you, if you can initially that a low pass filter we are using that it is uh, represented h of n with uh, omega c by pi okay for n is ready to substitute that all n is equal to 0 and uh, with uh, minus minus m less than or equal to n n less than or equal to m okay if the h of n is equal to sine of omega c into n by pi n for n not equal to 0 if you are using really uh, using this particular filter, ideal impulse for the standard finite uh, impulse response filter. Type ideal impulse response H of N and non, uh, non casual finite impulse response. So if you are using the right pass uh, filter, we have to consider this all uh, H of N values. Coming to the H of I pass filter, which H of N, H of N value is considered that pi, uh, pi of uh, pi minus uh, omega c by pi. Uh, for n is equal to 0. So, similar sign, sign of omega c n by pi n for n not equal to 0. If you are uh, minus m less than or equal to small n less than or equal to capital, we have to use. If uh, ideal impulse response h of n with uh, what you call will expected non causal finite impulse response coefficients. Similar case in the band, band pass filter where h of n is equal to we have to consider this mathematical analysis and the band stop also, where band stop filter where h of n is equal to pi pi minus omega h plus omega l. Here we have to concentrate on this pi pi, okay, with for uh, <coughs> for n is equal to zero. That here we have to consider that minus m less than or equal to uh, small n less than or equal to capital M. So, if you are using that minus uh, minus sign uh, omega hn of power pi, what you call by, by n pi plus sine of uh, omega l n by pi n pi for uh, here this case for n is equal to 0. So, we have to consider this all filters, so you know, different filters based on the ideal impulse response h of n. Uh, with the non with the non causal finite impulse response coefficients okay with this so using this all analysis uh, we use the uh, certain uh, the examples or uh, problems if you are in the finite impulse response low pass filter design so already we have done that solid design for that so we have to use that all uh, uh, certain examples and the reflect problems so here that problem is uh, uh, analyzed with this right to design. Design a three tap finite impulse response low pass filter with cutoff frequency of 8 edges and a sampling rate of uh, 8000 hertz using the Fourier transfer method. This is one, uh, uh, one aspect. Uh, second level is determine. Determine the transfer function and uh, difference equation of the uh, what you call design finite impulse response system. Third point is in, in terms of the FIR, FIR low pass filter design. Compute and uh, plot the magnitude uh, frequency response for uh, omega equal to 0, pi by 4, pi by 2, 3 pi by 4 and uh, pi radians. So with this we have to consider normal, normalize the cutoff frequency where it is followed by omega c is equal to 
2 pi 2 pi fc into ts where here the 2 pi in uh, 2 pi so it is given that uh, 2 pi and uh, into 800 by 8000 okay 0 0.2 pi radians see if, if you are in that uh, uh, if you want to design a three tap finite uh, what you call finite impulse response low pass filter three tap filter is what is that uh, p tap filter 2m plus 1 okay if it is uh, what you call uh, 3 where m is equal to 1 if you want to substitute this value uh, 2 if it is three tap uh, uh, what do you call uh, filter 2m plus 1 is is equal to 3 but we are ready to substitute where m is equal to 1 if you are substituting m equal to 1 the time that in the uh, impulse response each of n for uh, n from n from minus capital m to cap uh, plus uh, capital m but here we have to substitute the n value where uh, n is equal to minus 1 0 1 okay so the filter coefficients h of 0 omega c by pi for n is equal to 0 h of n is equal to sin omega c uh, into m by pi n is equal to sin of uh, 0 0.2 pi n by n by for n not equal to 1. Uh, from previous uh, slide already we have observed this all uh, backgrounds of this all uh, what you call all ideal impulse uh, mm, for standard identifier filter consider these all values okay so with this from this uh, previous slide so we compute the coefficients where h of n is equal to that uh, what do you call 0 0.2 pi by pi here it is uh, what do you call the pi pi is cancelled 0 0.2 and uh, here it is n is equal to 1 right to substitute that all n is equal to 1 where pi c is equal to uh, pi c by uh, pi here it is ready to substitute sign of 0 0.2 pi into 1 by 1 into pi okay so this is ready to verify the term in this typical value 0 0.1875 for completing this algorithm quotient so using the symmetry property uh, like h of minus 1 is equal to h of 1 is equal to 0 0.1875 Okay, delay uh, delaying the h of n by m is equal to one sample where we have to measure that a bn is equal to h of uh, h of n minus uh, small n minus capital M for n is ready to substitute here 0 where n is equal to 1 or n is equal to 2, n is equal to 3 and so on then up to 2n. So of that try to calculate that all n is ready to substitute bn. Where in this case n is substituted 0, where n is substituted 1, and so on. Here n is substituted 0, where n is substituted to 1, where n is substituted to 2. That's why here it is uh, uh, what you call b, b0, b1, and b2. With this, try to measure that h of 0 minus 1 is equal to h of, okay, uh, h of uh, minus 1 is equal to 0. Point. 1851 one. like b1 and b2 like this right to calculate right to measure uh, what value the dealing with of n by where uh, capital m is equal to one sample okay so like this right to verify this is all nothing but uh, according to three point design the solution will be expected like this okay and uh, with this where h here h of z is equal to we know that uh, b0 plus b1 uh, z power minus 1 plus b2 z power minus 2 plus and so on uh, uh, what do you call b2m z power minus 2 where bn is we know that uh, bn is equal to what that bn where bn is equal to where h of n minus n minus capital m with this where ready to the where n is ready to substitute where n is equal to 0 1 2 3 and so on into what you call 2 m so with this h of z ready to calculate 
v0 v0 v1 you know that it's all of them substitution h of z is equal to what you call this value into plus this one and so on we need to verify that y of z by x of z is also nothing but h of z after simplifying this 0 0.18 sum 1 plus 0 0.2 z power minus 1 plus 0 0.18 sum 1 z power minus 2 so after to write verify that all output response y of z is equal to this value okay so like this inverse z transform of that try to measure in a, uh, what you call we'll observe that inverse tra z transform so uh, it is uh, ready to get that next level okay so that's uh, uh, the magnitude frequency response and phase response where here we have to substitute that uh, value where z is equal to e power j omega uh, with this what you call h into e power j omega is equal to e power j omega of 0 0.18 sum 1 e power j omega plus 0 0.2 plus 0 0.18 sum 1 into e power minus j omega okay using this uh, this particular formula so where e power uh, uh, Euler's formula e power jx plus e power minus jx is equal to 2 cos x with this okay try to verify what that h into e power j omega is equal to e power minus j omega of 0 0.2 plus 0 0.3742 cos of omega so after that try to measure the magnitude and the phase responses okay uh, for magnitude and phase frequency responses with this so h into e power j omega is equal to mod h into e power j omega is equal to mod 0 0.2 plus 0 0.3472 cos omega okay so this uh, angle h into e power j omega is equal to minus omega minus omega plus pi if uh, 0 0.2 plus 0. 34, 34, what do you call 3472 cos omega greater than 0. And if 0.2 plus 0.3472 cos omega less than 0. With this, so graphically, right to verify this on, go on using that radiance with f equal to f equal to omega fs by 2 pi and so on, all the numerical values ready to tablet. Uh, this particular tablet uh, tablet form try to fill this all variance we initially did 0 and pi by 4 pi by 2 3 pi by 4 and pi okay if uh, the f value is equal to 0 and uh, 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 that radiance is pi by 4 that frequency is 1000 if that uh, radiance is pi by 2 that uh, frequency is 2000 if that radians are 3 pi by 4, it is a 3000 uh, frequency, okay. And uh, where pi is the pi, if that radians is pi, where if it is f is equal to 4000. Like this, uh, try to verify that all values like h and d power j omega, h and d power j omega, okay. Finally, try to verify that at the uh, uh, at the end, the what you call degree of h and t power j omega is equal to finally 0 degrees minus 45 degrees minus 90 degrees plus 45 degrees and uh, 0, 0 degrees okay so like this the, the output response inverse jet transform y of m is equal to okay like this right to verify and uh, after substituting this value uh, finally you will get this and uh, result and if you are using the term the magnitude frequency response and the phase response with reference to z equal to e power j omega in uh, h of z factoring uh, factoring the term e power minus j omega with this uh, formula e power j omega plus e power minus j omega jx is equal to 2 cos of x okay so after try to measure to observe that all magnitude and phase uh, frequency responses okay so finally 
try to verify that the transfer function uh, the transfer function casual casual finite pulse response filter is right what is that h of the filter is h of z where uh, h of z uh, is equal to b not isn't it b not okay b not plus b1 okay b1 into z power minus 1 plus what you call p2 z power minus 2 plus uh, what you call b3 b3 z power b3 z power minus 3 plus and so on what you call b b2 okay b2 b2 m and to z power minus 2m okay like this uh, the transfer the transfer function and within a casual finite impulse response filter h of z with this ready to measure that the magnitude frequency response and the phase response okay so this is the linear response so where n versus x of n uh, x1 of n and uh, x2 x2 of n and y, y2 of n so that initially matching that uh, 2n where m is equal to what do you call 8 capital m is equal to 8 matching that uh, into 1 n okay let us uh, 7 if it is 17 tap fr filter with the linear phase property where if it is n is equal to 8 Okay, so where here it is m is equal to 8 samples delay with reference to this first figure. So, next level where m is equal to 8 sample delay. Okay, if a filter has a linearly phased property, okay, the FR finite impulse response coefficients are symmetric about the middle coefficients. Okay, now coming to this non nonlinear phase. Okay, non-linear, this is the major uh, constraints, aspects, uh, uh, non-linear phase, where input is x of n is equal to x1 of n plus x2 of n is equal to sine of 0 0.05 by n u of n minus 1 by 3 sine of 0 0.15 by n into u of n. Linear phase filter output response. Where the response output is uh, y1 of n is equal to sine of 0 0.05 pi of n minus 8 minus 1 by 3 sine of 0 0.15 pi of uh, of what you call n minus uh, n minus 8. Okay, with this. So 90 degrees non linear phase filter output response y2 of n is equal to sine of 0 0.05 pi n minus pi by 2 okay minus 1 by 3 sine of 0 0.15 pi n minus pi by 2 okay these are the uh, combined two sinusoidal input with this linear phase filter output response will be appeared if it is uh, n value n versus x of n and n versus y of n n versus y2 of n if m where m is equal to 8 so it is matching which one is the linear phase filter output which you can observe by using this graphical representation. Command of two sensorial input, how it is appear. This is going to be an input of that right verify that linear phase filter output response. If it is a third or 90 degrees phase delay filter output. Okay. So here somewhat it is distortion is output waveform shape is different. From the from one of the x of n, okay. So this is nothing but what you call it is distorted. So FR filter with the windowing method already we have learned that the previous uh, uh, contents uh, previous lectures. But here with reference to that concept that the what you call uh, basic knowledge, the window function which is uh, symmetrical and can gradually. Uh, with the desired uh, finite impulse response coefficients okay uh, down to zero 
at both both ends for the range minus uh, what you call minus m uh, minus m less than or equal to small n less than or equal to capital M. Okay, apply this window sequence. Okay, uh, w of n to the filter coefficients gives h of omega h of uh, w of n is equal to h of n into w of n. So with this, with the, the window functions are used to uh, re remedy the undesirable yeah. gyps oscillation. Gyps oscillation already have seen. With this, that uh, rectangular window, that uh, rectangular window. But uh, here it is uh, REC of uh, what you call n is equal to uh, what you call 1 if we are right to substitute the value minus m less than or equal to small n less than or equal to capital M. It is uh, what you call a rectangular window. Okay. Coming to the second one, triangular or bartlett window here. Uh, 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 w or T R I of n is equal to 1 minus mod n by capital M, okay, minus m less than or equal to n less than or equal to m. We have with this Hamming window that uh, uh, W of H A N, H A N a single n Hamming, H A N is equal to 0 point uh, Hamming window that uh, window h a n of uh, what you call n is equal to 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 with cos 0 0.5 cos of uh, cos of n pi okay n pi by capital m so like the part of the filter with the minus m less than or equal to what you call small n less than or equal to capital M. It is uh, a Hanning window. Coming to the Hamming window, okay. So for the third third level or the fourth level of uh, popular window that is going to be the Hamming window, okay. That Hamming, that Hamming window is followed by what you call the window Hamming where uh, H A H A M Hamming. Okay, of n is equal to what do you call 0 0.5454 plus 0 0.0.46. Uh, okay, cos of cos of n pi by n pi by by n pi by n m with this minus minus m less than or equal to what you call n less than or equal to capital M. Similarly, that uh, Blockman window, the back Blockman window, W of block, okay, block of n is equal to what you call 0 0.42 plus 0 0.5 cos of n pi by what you call n pi by capital M plus 0 0.08 cos of 2 pi 2 pi 2 pi n or 2 n pi by what you call capital M with this, okay, with the minus m less than or equal to small n less than or equal to capital M. Okay, so with the window method, already we know that uh, based on the window method, we are going to solve this problem. Best example, design a phi type finite impulse response band project, uh, project band stop filter with a low cutoff frequency of 2000 hertz, upper cutoff frequency of 2400 hertz and the sampling rate is rate of 8000 hertz using the Hamming window method to determine the transfer function. 
here it is uh, so here uh, uh, according to this omega l is uh, given and omega h is also given phi tap will tap 2m plus 1 is equal to phi that means uh, uh, here it is 2m plus 1 Previously, we are using the term 3 tap of capital. Here is pi tap. That means uh, here it is pi is equal to pi. Then m is ready to substitute. m is equal to 2. 2 into 2, 4, 4 plus 1, 5. Okay. So here that h of n, we know that all h of n value. Okay. Where h of n is, uh, you have to remember that where h of n is equal to pi minus omega h plus omega l by pi you know that all uh, if we are substituting m is equal to 0 is one aspect there the remaining is sine sine omega h into n by what you call n by n by plus sin uh, omega n by what do you call n by so here it is n not equal to 0 minus 2 less than or equal to n less than or equal to 2 okay like this the n value that means where n uh, h of n n is ready to substitute n is equal to 0 so, how, how, how we are uh, ready to measure? Okay. Finally, that outcome is h of 0, it is substituted, h of 0 and h of 1, where n is equal to 1. How it is, where is that all? Okay. Next, h where n is equal to 2. Okay. How it is, observe that all. Previous one, if it, uh, n, n is equal to 0, where uh, h of n value is uh, what you call 0 0.9 if it is here it is n is equal to 0 where h of 1 is equal to the typical value it is measured 0 0.01558 if it is h of 1 h of 2 where if it is h of 2 is equal to approximately 0 0.09355 okay like this try to measure that all h of minus 2 value and finally so that we to normalize the cutoff frequencies so here try to verify the normalize cutoff frequency values now we know method uh, you know that all three ma uh, methods the popular method is hamming window for the hamming window we are to measure that all mm -hmm. h uh, that n is equal to zero here it is we have to use that all hamming window okay with reference to that all hamming window zero one two and so on if it is uh, j one h of uh, uh, hamming zero one zero and hamming window 1, it is 0 0.54, hamming window 2, 0 0.08. Okay, if it is symmetric, here it is. Symmetric, okay, where it is minus 1 and minus 2. Minus 1 is 0 0.54, minus 2 is so what you call 0 0.08. So, window, windowed impulse responses. H of uh, omega 0, 1, 2, minus 1 and minus 2. It is mentioned in good impulse responses. That responses is initially that what you call uh, zero level 0 0.9, okay, and 0 0.00841, uh, 0 0.00, 0 0.00748. Next, if it is uh, a HF of uh, HF of uh, window minus 1 is equal to h of minus 1 is ready to use the observe that are 0 0.00841 okay next uh, 0 0.00748 like this we are ready to verify this particular window methodology 
okay with by delaying uh, by delaying h of n by m is equal to two samples okay we are v not equal to v4 and v1 and v v1 is equal to v3 is equal to 0 0.0084841 uh, and um, v2 equal 0 0.9 when the h of z is equal to this value so this all uh, by using this all having into window methodology try to measure the transfer function and other parameters next find the fair filter uh, length uh, filter length estimation so here it is filter length estimation windows are you know this is the popular window rectangle window hanging and hanging and left window window function is with reference to this m less than or equal to n less than or equal to m window length is capital n and the pass band record is in terms of the decibel stop band definition in terms of the decibel if you are in the rectangular window window function is one and the rectangular window uh, and the rectangular window window length n is equal to 0 0.9 by 12 and the pass band record is uh, 0.7416 decibels stop band definition is 21 decibels coming to this uh, hanging Hanning is uh, 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 cos pi m by capital M. That window length is n is equal to 3.1 by del f and uh, pass band ripple is 0 0.05546 decibels. And stop band attenuation is uh, what you call 24 decibels. In Hamming window, so where here it is the window function with uh, 0 0.54 plus 0 0.46 cos of uh, by n by capital M, where n is equal to 3.3 by del f, we, uh, if it is in the length, and the pass band ripple is 0 0.0194, stop band, stop band attenuation 53 decibels. Similar development, uh, okay, where uh, window length is 5.45 del f, okay, pass band ripple is 0 0.0017, and the stop band attenuation is 100. Decibels. Okay, like this, the filter, the finite impulse response digital filter length estimation is measured in a tentatively like this for you to observe the so pass band transition and the stop band. Okay, like this, right to verify the solid del f value uh, cut off frequency with the uh, uh, pass band, pass band frequency plus uh, uh, stop band frequency by 2. Delta P uh, dB times 20 into log base 10, 1 plus delta P. And delta S uh, decibel is equal to minus 20 log base 10 delta S. So, like this, right to verify. This is the uh, what you call finite impulse response digital filter length estimation. Come to the filter, say a fair filter, uh, finite impulse response digital filter length estimation. Uh, Call one problem, uh, one example, best example. They are right to provide the low power, lo, lower stop band uh, 0 to 5, 500 hertz, and the pass band is 1600 to 2300 hertz. Upper stop band is 3500 to 4000 hertz, and the stop band attenuation is 50 decibels. Pass band ripple is 0 0.5 decibels. Sample rate is 8000 hertz. With this use the Hamming window for it, uh, for calculating for measuring that uh, FAR filter length estimation. This is the given data. Okay, so we are uh, solving this this type of uh, estimation. So for this, the F1 is equal to uh, here uh, 1500 like this. The value the given data is right to calculate after that the N1. M1, you know that all M1 is 3.3 by by 0 0.137 and 24. Here it is, mm, N2 is also mm, 0 0.15 with uh, this. Okay, so use the having window to choose that a nearest high, uh, higher order N is equal to 25. So, right to measure the tall coefficients, cutoff frequencies, and normalize it, normalized. 
so I'm going to be using a MATLAB for the design okay uh, but uh, filter type for land pass filters and uh, using the windowing type I have in function go on writing the piece of code here that is equal to 25 we have type 3 uh, uh, what do you call the VN how to call L is equal to 0 0.26 2 pi into 5 and the VN H 0 0.725 into 5 uh, uh, that would be type is 4 with uh, that is equal to 8000 as per given okay like uh, here it is what to use this built in function with the MATLAB okay so after this we have to simulate this one we are using this all the values delta f1 and delta f2 okay so we write to verify this output response is like this frequency versus the phase and frequency versus that magnitude if uh, uh, higher order n is equal to 5 delta f1 and delta f2 is in that n1 and n2 out of the filter with the 22 and the 24 Okay, this is the uh, thing about design here, band pass filter. Using this all of uh, what you call uh, specification, design a band pass filter with this uh, given data like uh, lower stop band and the pass band and upper stop band, stop band attenuation and pass band ripple sampling rate and so on. Using this all, we have to write that a piece of code after running that uh, what you call the uh, MATLAB, we will expect this. Uh, no, okay, but the design finite first response filter length estimation will be estimated by using the windowing technique and uh, with the help of MATLAB. Okay, so th this is the uh, best example. Uh, so coming to these applications of noise reduction, so here input uh, input wave uh, waveform. Mm, here that uh, that input waveform is combination of sense model plus broadband noise number of samples with the sampling values okay uh, so it is also used for the spectrum I want to remove this uh, noise by using this particular spectrum that time also it is very much useful and the specification uh, low pass filter pass band frequency 0 to 800 h and stop band frequency 1000 to 4000 age and pass band ripple is uh, less than 0 0.0402 decibels star band attenuation is equal to 50 decibels so we can design a digital filter to remove the frequency components like uh, noise other than the desired frequency range here I have one more uh, application it is suitable for uh, uh, design aspects like uh, uh, 133 tap Finite impulse response, so a delay of 66. Okay, that purpose also we have to, to reduce some noise here, almost there. No eyes in this case. Okay, from, uh, like this, uh, right to verify that the frequency uh, finite impulse response digital filter with uh, particular aspects, with uh, examples, and some problems just to be able to solve. So we will continue next further uh, the FAD filter with the uh, uh, what do you call frequency sampling design methodology, the applications, what are the design aspects and other specifications. We will see that a lot of uh, uh, what do you call problems and examples try right, to justify our digital filter is it is suitable by using this uh, indoing technique and other methodology. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.